two incels. I'm Malin, and I could probably fall under the bracket of an incel, if I'm honest with myself. And, you know, people like me that are more insular, introspective, don't have great social skills and kind of prefer to be alone, it can be hard for us to kind of create social connections with other people. And it can be really difficult, especially to kind of create relationships, especially if you have low self-esteem and low confidence and you have a lot of fear and anxiety towards being in a relationship or talking to a woman. And this is a difficult kind of thing to overcome, you know, and it's really sad that there's so many people like me that are unable to communicate with women, that are unable to present themselves as they are, are unable to be confident in themselves as they are to attract a woman or to find a woman that would, you know, be able to support and care for them and that they'd be able to provide for. Because you have a lot of value as you are and even though you may not think it, you may not be able to see it, it takes some time to kind of build this confidence and build this evidence to prove that you are because your identity is kind of influenced by your habits and these habits that you've built up, if it's if you're like me, have kind of reinforced that you're not worth being a partner with, that you're not worth being a friend with because either you watch too much adult content or you just spend a lot of time playing video games and it kind of leaves you with this hole in yourself, you know, like there could be so much more but you're not reaching for that potential, you're not reaching for more because you're self-sabotaging, you're feeling down on yourself and I've been in this cycle, I've, I've felt this many times in my life and I've struggled with trying to talk to women, to try and create even friendships with other people and find people that I like. But through these videos, I'm practicing my talking skills. I'm showing a way to kind of build yourself up. And I just hope that other incels can kind of see this. Don't even, honestly, don't even call yourself an incel, you know, like this is the first time I've kind of used it for myself. And that's because I want to not only could I be described as one, but other people that are attached to it, I want them to be able to see this. And I want, I want you to be able to see this. I want you to realize like, you know, there's other people that are more naturally more extroverted than you and that have better social skills than you. They may not be better than you. They may not look better than you. They may not be able to provide as much as you, because if you're someone that's an incel, most likely you're someone that's more introspective and doesn't have the best social skills and you may blame it on your looks. But have you been caring for yourself? Have you been taking care of yourself? Have you been working on your body? Have you been trying to present yourself in a hygienic manner? Because if you don't, then how do you expect other people to be attracted to you? And I know that this kind of sucks, but just take these small steps to take care of yourself. Take a shower, shave, get a nice haircut. <laughs> I say that as I kind of am growing out my hair and it looks a little bit manky and weird. It doesn't look great, you know, but I'm growing out my hair because that's what I want to do and I'm willing to kind of pay the price that it doesn't really look great at the moment. You know, it can be so hard as an insult. You see all these people that are naturally social, naturally very extroverted and they're getting all the women, all the women that you want the girls that you've kind of been attracted to, that you've been too scared to talk to. And you're like, what's what's up with this? You know, I'm such a nice guy. I'm a great guy. You know, I'm very um, intelligent and logical and I can provide to them and I'm actually kind of funny. And you're actually probably quite funny. You're actually quite a guy, good guy as well. And you'll probably have a lot to provide to other people. But you're not showing that to other women. That's what I've realized. I haven't been showing that to other women when I talk to them. It's been very anxious and it's been very avoidant, you know, I haven't been upfront and honest with myself. And that's what you've got to be, you know, you've got to show yourself, you've got to be someone that you would want to date, that they would want to date. And so to do that, you've got to be more confident in yourself, you've got to put yourself forward. And I'm not telling you to do something extreme and just go out there and try and talk to people straight away, but just take these kind of little steps, you know, just start caring for yourself a bit more. Start going to the gym, start grooming yourself a bit more. Go out for a walk, go outside and you'll notice like the negative feelings that you're kind of feeling and all these kind of bad beliefs, they'll kind of slowly float away. 
And then when you walk past people, just look at them in the eyes and just smile. That's all you really have to do. And if you feel like it, say hi, say how are you. If you see someone stopping by, kind of mention something like, oh, nice day, isn't it? Just simple things like that and just build your social skills like that. And slowly you kind of get more confident with it and you just need to get yourself out there and practice these social skills. I need to do this as well. This is something that I'm trying to work on because it's kind of a, a tough way out. And you know, when you feel like you're so inferior and all these other people that are getting all these results so easily and you feel so far behind and it's like, oh my God, like, how am I going to do this? You know, like I should just give up, you know, like why even bother? And you have so much to, to value. So take responsibility for that, work on that. Because you can't just live holding yourself back and feeling terrible about this and being so nasty about it because that's such a terrible mindset to have. And I want you, I want me and you to kind of work on ourselves and to provide for someone because someday in the future, you're probably going to get married and you want to, you know, you could get married, you know, if you really wanted to. And it could be with this lovely woman that could provide all these things for you and that could create a really beautiful life for yourself if you're willing to open yourself up to that and if you're willing to work towards that. So to other incels, I hope that <laughs> I hope that this video benefits you. I hope that you've actually watched this and that you actually can relate to it and you'll do something about it because it's a tough journey and life kind of sucks, but we can make something better at, about this. I believe in that. And I hope that you can believe in that. So thank you for watching if you did, and I'll see you in the next video.